Hello, hello, Mike German from Visual Animations and welcome to day 10. Now I promised yesterday on day nine that I was gonna have a really good one today, a really fun one and also one that we're gonna do in four minutes again. Well, I hope so, because yesterday's was four minutes. So today, let's hope we can do the same. So let me just show you what it is. Today we have this effect and it will play again, there we go. So we're going to be basically, I don't know what you think, what do you think that is? It looks, looks like it's just being eaten by termites really fast or something like that, doesn't it? It's so any any um, object that you create, you can put this effect on it and it will just disintegrate all of the particles and they'll just disappear. So it kind of like it will just blow the thing all the particles away a nice effect um, let's see if we can do this in four minutes right so what do we do first thing we do is we grab a mo text and, and for the same um, to say so copies what we've just done I'm going to put a four in there and I'm going to choose the, the the typeface that we had which I use on my my artwork for my for my thumbnail so i'm going to i'm going to put that in just so we're kind of doing the same thing as what you've just seen so what we do with the four uh is we go to um go out shading lines and then if you notice there isn't any really on there and we need quite a lot on here for this to work so what we do is we go on this uh, object here that where it says depth 20 so i think that we'll keep that about there that's not too bad Let's put that to 20. Right, there's subdivisions here that we need to up those so we get more pieces going that way. Let's say 15. Um, and then we go to the intermediate points here. That's how adaptive. And we want to change that to uniform. Okay, so we get this nice grid over it. And then on the front, we don't have any geometry really. We just have one piece, which is not going to break up at all very well. So we go to caps, which is the next one along, and then we change this caps type here to regular grid, okay? And then we bring the, the grid size, the number down, which will increase the size of it because it will be held like, like the size of the squares. So you bring it down to three, there'll be three centimeters. Bring it down to two, there'll be two centimeters. Uh, hang on, not 20. There we go, something like that. So we've got geometry all over the front. We've got geometry down the sides. You know, there isn't any obviously big plane areas on here. So that's what you're looking for. When we get that, we go to MoGraph, um, PolyFX, and then we drag that underneath text, making it a child. Um, once we've got that, we need to put some effectors in here because PolyFX doesn't work unless it's got an effector for it to work with. So we go back to MoGraph, back to Effectors, and we're gonna be using a random effector, <laughs> which is basically blown the thing to bits. So let's just change that, because it's a little bit too much. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how you control this in a minute, how it actually moves down the letters. So we need another effector. So we go to MoGraph and we grab a plane effector, okay. So now we have these, let's start with the random. Just put the eight in there. If we just put about eight in each one, that's fine. And then if we go to fields, we need to add a spherical field, which is what you can see now, look. So what's happening, let's put that in about 20. It's only affecting it where the field is, like that, look. Okay. So this is with the start of our effect. So we put that in there, but it doesn't do anything. So if you just press play, it just stays like that. So how do we make it go across the letter without having to keyframe it all? Really smart technique in here under fields is freeze. So if we pop in freeze, and what we wanna do, we wanna get the order right here. So you need to put spherical field first, and we need to change this normal blending to max. Okay, and then what that will do, if we click on freeze, under mode, we need to go to grow, okay? And then the effect strength about 30. Okay, so if I just show you what happens, it automatically goes over the letter, but they all stay there. 
right? And in, in the example I showed you, it broke them up, but they disappeared at the same time. Okay, so that's the other effector. The plane effector is gonna come up be, like behind it, shredding it. So this is like a shredder. It's like the first effector's shredded the letters into pieces and the other effector comes along behind it and just gets rid of them completely. So it's two effectors working along together. So what we do then, once we've got the random effector done, um, we go to the plane effector and then an under effector, sorry, under parameter here, we want to take out the position and we just want to mess with the scale because what this one's gonna do is just gonna reduce the scale to nothing. So we, I'll show you what you do. You, you go to scale, you go to uniform scale, and then under here you do a minus one. Okay, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna come along behind it and it's gonna get rid of them all so you don't see them. Okay, so what we do now is you go to fields and we wanna drag this spherical field that we've already made for random and drag it into the plane effector. So I've just, <laughs> just done something wrong now. I've let go of it at the wrong time. All right. On plane effector, on fields, drag spherical field into there, okay? And then also we want the freeze one again. So we're gonna click on freeze. We want to put spherical, spher I, can't, I can't say spherical field very well. I must be, Sphere spherical field. It's a funny word, isn't it? Sp anyway, I've, I always have trouble with words like that. I used to say surrounded years ago rather than surrounded and it took me ages to get that. It must, it must, I think it's a short tongue thing. It's a bit of a lisp. Anyway, you get used to it. Right, where was I? I'm gonna go over four minutes by waffling on. Right, we wanna put the order. We wanna put spherical field at the top and we wanna change that to max, okay? We want to click on freeze and we want to go to grow just like we did before. But this time let's have the effect strength slightly slower all right so the random is 30 and then the plane is 25 the reason for that is the the random will do all the damage it will be like cutting up this this character and then the plane effector will come up behind it not quite as strong and it will mop up and chop it all up into nothing okay it's almost like i don't know like a shredder and then a hook and then like a giant vacuum cleaner something like that it's just two effectors working together but one slightly behind the other one so that's what's happening there with the effect strength 30 percent on one 25 on the other so once we've got that let's just see if we've got the effect we want right that's still not taking that out let's just have a look at why that is we've got max on there 25 there grow right let's just clear these effects for now so it starts back at the beginning all right so what haven't we done there's always something that you think so we've got normals on there circle field is there anything we should have done on poly effects ah yes it's always a way, isn't there? That's what I found with this. It's like, I do this 10 times in a row and it's fine. And then the next time you do it, there's something you didn't do or it didn't do it at the time. So yeah, under poly effects, we obviously in the effectors here, we have to make sure that both effectors are in there. It only had the random. So it wasn't, it was chopping it up, but it wasn't disintegrating it afterwards. Okay, so both effectors in there and now we should have it working. There we go. So I hope that was four minutes. I hope you uh, will find this effect useful. It's super, super good. I mean, if you just got a couple, like one more minute, I'll just show you, if you add a cloth surface to text, so you put text under the cloth surface, and then the cloth surface, we take out the subdivisions and then we put in, say, oh, probably a little bit too thick, that isn't it? Point two of thickness. What we've got now, is the geometry has actually got some proper thickness to it then. So the pieces are all breaking up into 
into actual 3D little pieces. I mean, it is an amazing effect and it doesn't use dynamics and it's super quick and you can do it to any shape as long as you put all that geometry all over it and you divide it all up so it's got little pieces you know it doesn't work on flat planes but it does work once it's all divided up into into like a, a tight grid i hope you enjoyed that one tomorrow 11th of march bit of a special day tomorrow it's my daughter's 13th birthday she becomes a teenager tomorrow so i'm going to do a special 3d for my daughter that she's requested see how that goes so that's tomorrow 11th of march i'll see you then at 4 p.m my name is mike german from visual animations take care goodbye for now